raised in Mumbai's Dagdi Chal, which was home to the mill workers in the 70s, Arun Gulab Gawli, Arjun, a local went on to become a dreaded don and later a politician. Not to forget, Dawood Ibrahim's chief adversary. Mumbakers are well versed with the rise of Goli, an out of work mill worker's son who resorted to extortion, gambling, and murder to ultimately become the face of the underworld. Yeah. For those who have tuned in late, this film serves as a refresher course on the life and times of the infamous gangs of Bombay. Arun, along with his two friends, Babu, Anand, and Rama, Rajesh, formed the Bra Gang and reigned terror in central Mumbai in the 70s to 80s. Gauli's meteoric rise to the top also meant that he would eventually confront his contemporary, Dawood Ibrahim, referred to as Maxud, Farhan, here. Since most of this is documented, the screenplay of this biopic offers no surprises. At times, it even feels like you're being led from one point to another, almost blindfolded. Alawali deliberately adopts a flat narrative and takes the viewer through the dark, gritty world with minimum dramatization. As a result, there are fewer ear-piercing emotional outbursts, but also fewer moments of dread. Once your eyes get adjusted to the drab chawls and dimly lit gullies, where the gangs operate like ghosts, chased by just one greedy, overambitious cop, the Jaker NITIN, Nishikant, you become complacent watching the Crime Patrol episode. The sepia tone minimum color frames stay muted and never leap at you. As a result, you don't feel the tension, even when some brutal killings play out. However, it is infuriating that most of the actors mumble their dialogue and you have to strain hard to hear their intention. The first half touches on Gully's growth as a don, and the second half attempts to stay with his life as a family man and politician. Married to a Muslim girl, Zubida, Ashwarya, his secular streak is subtly touched. Though he converts his wife to a Shah, he is large-hearted enough to play a benefactor to both communities during the Mumbai riots. In fact, the maximum drama here is depicted through the protagonist Arjun's own performance graph. Besides obviously altering his features to match Gauli's prominent forehead and nose, the actor cleverly imbibes his grunt and soft-spoken sing-song manner, lending complete credibility to what is a first-rate act from the actor. If you like crime drama, Daddy is bound to fuel your imagination. Gauli is a part of India's crime history. And this is the close.